Good morning. My name is Dr. Melody Medley-Keith. We're here at Lakeway Aquatic Physical Therapy. And today, our topic on our Snappinar is about carpal tunnel syndrome, right? Wrist and hand pain. How many of you have wrist and hand pain? It's very, very common. And for those of you that are working at home quite a lot on your computers and your workstations and things like that, you might experience carpal tunnel. So again, let's go back and understand. Again, I, I am a physical therapist. I'm a doctor of physical therapy, right? And what my specialty is, is in biomechanics, right? I'm in physics. So what I do is I look at the body as a lever system, right? One lever affects the other. So when a lever is out of alignment, it affects everything, right? Just what you've learned in physics. When, when something, a lever is out of alignment, it affects it. And in the body, it affects not only tendons, ligaments, and muscles. And in the hand, because it's so intricate, it is a very easy to get what we call carpal tunnel. Initially, if you usually, if you just have a hand pain, wrist pain, right in here or right in here, a lot of people will call it carpal tunnel. But a carpal tunnel is really a pinching of what we call our median nerve. And that nerve runs all the way down into your fingers and into the tips of your fingers. So if you've got little tinglys in there, if you kind of have to shake it off after working on your mouse for a while, that is a carpal tunnel syndrome. And what we're going to do in our snappinars is today we're going to give you some exercises and then things that you can do at home very easily to help your carpal tunnel wrist hand pain. Okay? In my business, I am a manual therapist. I work with my hands all day long, and I've been doing it for a long time. We're here at Lakeway. We've been here over 22 years, so I've been working with my hands a long time. So this is something that is very, very common in my industry. So how do I combat it? How do I keep what what is going on in my life? Well, first, I make sure that when I'm doing my manual therapy, that I'm doing them correctly. I keep my body mechanics. I keep everything in alignment and make sure that I'm not pushing too hard or pulling too hard. So that is what you need to do in our first, these are our first, is to get your workstation in order. Make sure that you have a proper workstation. Don't sit on the bed. Don't sit in your lounge chair. Get at a desk. Get yourself where you have a proper workstation. Second, I want you to make sure that you are not doing a lot of flexion of the hands, the ball stuff, right? Everybody, oh, I'm doing this all day. Oh, that's exactly the opposite of what you need to do because the injury is in the palmer side of the hand. So we want to make sure that you keep your hands open. For those of you that sleep, this, you got to get out of that habit. You cannot sleep this way because it only aggravates the median nerve even more. So you've got to make sure that you're keeping your hands open at all times. And those are the exercises that I'm going to give you. Just two or three real quick. Great exercises. This one, first of all, you're going to open up your hands and put them right on the desk right on a table and you're going to open and close open and close and say it's just one hand then I would go in and really open these we call this ABA deduction you want to open the hands you want to get that wrist and palm all the way down and open the fingers and close them open the fingers and close them right so you're going to do this forward you're going to do this sideways and you're going to do this backwards. Now, I guarantee you, when you do this stretch for a carpal tunnel, you're going to feel it. But just don't place a lot of stress on it, right? That's what we always say. Just go easy on it. And maybe don't lean into it. And then try to get in and get your fingers open as much as you can. If you're like, oh, man, that sets that nerve off. That's it. It's called a nerve glide. And that's what we want to do for it. 
stretch it open. Get it open. Get those fingers open. Another good exercise is just to take a, like a regular rubber band yep, and just put it into your fingers. And then you're going to get in, straighten the arm, and just go open and close. Open and close. And you can do that with your hand straight or with your wrist flexed. Right? But we're not doing any flexion this way. We're doing everything open hand. Everything open hand. And then the last great, great tip for those of you that have wrist and hand carpal tunnel syndrome symptoms, then a contrast bath. And this is where you can do warmth to cold, but here, what Amy's got on, you guys remember Amy? So she's got on a paraffin wax. And so you just use that as a paraffin. Oh, no, you got it on your watch. Your paraffin wax. Yeah, look, she's, she's had it on a while. It's a deep, deep heat. It's really, really nice. And then she gets to go, oh, this is great. Very, very good. Then right after that, she's going to stick it into a bucket of ice. And again, you can tell we don't have a lot of ice in there. You don't have to make it super duper cold. Just contrast bath. Hot and then cold. Wonderful, right? Wonderful. Okay, those are, are what, what I wanted to tell, tell you today, okay? Those are really the things that are going to help you. If you continue to try to do your exercises and it still is not getting better and it's very, very severe pain when you do this, then come on in. We can see you. So what we will do is do a, take a little bit more uh, information and try to make sure that it is carpal tunnel or is it coming from your elbow, is it coming from your shoulder, or is it coming from your neck? And that's what we can do. So I enjoy having everyone here. I hope that all these help you. If you like us, please do a thumbs up. Next week, next week, we're going to be talking about migraine headaches. So if you have someone that has migraine headache pain, maybe they should tune in and get some great help on our snapping ours. Thank you very much. We hope to see you here at Lakeway Aquatic Physical Therapy in beautiful Lakeway, Texas, right outside of Austin, Texas, and we'd love to see you. Come on down. Thank you. Have a great day.